can see there's a bit of spring to her step. She wants to get aggressive right now. She wants to get that early score. Uh, I don't see there being a need for um, Asami to change her to change her plan. No. I think that uh, she's been effective thus far. Get ahead by Yuko, but better yet by Wazari. And then basically let her opponent make a mistake. Get her into a, a Newaza position. And then uh, take care of business. Oh, and there was a nice uh, Kouchi there by Asami. Looked to follow up with the Mashiwaza, and the Mongolian was did well to escape there. Good turn out by White. Avoid the score. But Asami, I think she can smell blood in the water. And she almost get caught there herself with a little bit of Ashiwaza. The Mongolian looks eager, eager to engage in Newaza herself. You can see that she... That was the As Asami's uh, attempt right there. Asami turns in there, turns out to her second. That was not going to be a score, I think, because it came from the knees. Tell you what, the monk bat looks eager to engage, and she looks dangerous. She's not at all overawed. I mean, they'll have been on together any number of um, times in the past. She doesn't seem intimidated at all by Asami. Really doesn't. Two minutes already burning our first final here. Just over our right shoulders, we have the Japanese cheering section. Mongolia looking for this Gigi Katame. Oh, she's at the top out! Asami's at the top out! out. If she moved back on Setseg, who takes it? But maybe someone outside Asia, because she could have been. No, it was, like, there would have been no foreign. Korean or Chinese, just right. foreigner in general. Yes. Okay. Well, what a thing that was. What a thing. We've got, uh, so that was the final of the under 48 kilo category. We've got, um, we've got Dave Brown coming back in to join David McFall, but that was incredible. That was a, that, that was a shocker right there.